Yo people, what's going on? Welcome back to Barber Banter. This is your Uncle P here. This show is about Jamie Oliver and his jerk rice. What do you think about it? Have you tasted it? Would you take it home to your grandmom? Would you have it at your wedding as part of your, of your dish? What do you think about that? Do you think that they're capitalizing us on us again as black people, taking our stuff and making it into you success? Or do you think that they're taking our stuff because we're not taking our stuff and doing anything with it? Would you put that on your plate? Would you have that at your wedding? Would you put that in your children's pack lunch? Have you tasted it? Did you like it or did you spit it out? Do you think that Jamie's Oliver's jerk rice is culture appropriation? Is there any such thing as jerk rice? Do you ask yourself the question, who jerked that rice? Let's take it to the barbershop and see what they say. You like it? Oh my god, that does not smell like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's definitely punchy. Right, if you're on, okay, so it's I might get punchy after this. I think that. So check this out. This does not look like rice and peas. This is like couscous. Yeah, it doesn't look like couscous. No. No, 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 no. No. That's jerk rice. No, no, no. No? Oh. I want to know if you jerk the rice. Don't worry. Okay, go on. This one's the gay stream. Dead. Gay rice. Gay rice. There's no such thing as jerk rice. That is really weird. That's what he means. I'm not even going to say that. You're going to squirt that out. Feet care. That thing that don't, it's not rice, it's something else. But it just, it was horrible, man. It was horrible. I had to spit it out. Spit it out straight away. I didn't want to swallow that. To be honest with you, after tasting it, I'm actually more offended at the taste than I am actually at the act of what he's doing. I think uh, Jamie Oliver, I, I don't know what the background story is. I don't know who he consulted with. I'd like to think that he discussed with somebody beforehand. Um, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what he, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know who tasted it and said yes, thumbs up. First and foremost, I feel sorry for rice. <laughs> Before I feel sorry for Caribbeans, because I think it's not even rice. I, I don't know, it's like it was hard bits. No, you don't cook rice properly. Those hard bits in it, and then there was this funny flavor that hit you before you even start tasting anything, and it's just wrong from then on. It just goes downhill from there. Um, I personally didn't like it. I personally didn't like it. it. I couldn't see any evidence of rice. It looked like, I think I spotted a, I don't know, there may have been a kidney bean. And there was, no, there was absolutely no pepper to it at all, which actually throws the term jerk right out the window. So I don't, I don't understand what's trying to be achieved there. I'm offended. Honestly, I'm offended. Like, I'm a little bit offended. Like, I'm offended by the taste. Or by, the, by, by the taste? Not even, not even the name. That's disgusting, though. That was horrible. Yeah. I'm not even trying to be offensive here, but that's not something you, you can't call that. Oh, like yeah. You can't call yeah. that rice, yeah, for one. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. rice. Yeah. I don't care what you're saying. That was like couscous or something. Yeah. And you can't call it jerk. You definitely yeah, can't call it jerk. Because yeah, there's not, there was nothing about it. There was no spice, there was no, spice, there was no kick, there was no... That was... So with the jerk rice, uh, like... My initial reaction, I didn't. Well, I like Jamie Oliver in it. I'm a fan. Like I like his whole 15 minute cooking thing and stuff like that. Like I like trying new recipes. But that was that was offensive. Man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like you mean the, taste? the taste was that was foul, man. <laughs> like he did us dirty with that one. Still, he's doing the people like anyone eating. Not even just the Caribbean culture. Anyone eating, he's doing you dirty with that one. It's not nice. Like yes. the fact that he called it jerk is appropriation, right? Because the, he, he, that's kind of trying to sell it to the commercial customer, commercial consumer, let's call it, yeah? Mm -hmm. That it has some kind of authentic Caribbean, West Indian flavour yeah. to it, which it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. And now another thing, appropriation, one of the definitions of appropriation, yeah, is to claim something without giving a nod to his heritage like, or yeah. where it came from. There's no kind of reference to a Caribbean culture on that package. Everyone knows that the jerk comes from the Caribbean. The minute you put jerk on a package, the imagery in your head is it's going to taste something like Caribbean food, Jamaican food, right? So yeah, he's appropriating it. Yeah, because he's taken something from some a culture and stuck it on something else that has nothing to do with the culture of the origin. Do you understand what I'm saying? As well as that, there's no nods on a packet to the culture of origin, you know, which is exactly what appropriation is. When you take something from a culture and you don't give them any kind of, you know what I mean, you don't nod to them, you don't give them any kind of, yeah, this is from them. You know, what he could have done was said, Jamie Oliver presents, 
do you know what I'm saying? And and had an authentic chef or, or, or a group of, or, you know, an authentic recipe and tried something. I mean, there's no such thing as jerk rice, but you could have tried a thing if he just said, Jamie Oliver presents a taste of the Caribbean or whatever, you feel me? But to, to do that was just, just silly, man. Come on, do better, Jamie, do better. And it was nasty, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, how they behave. Yeah. You, you, you know who you're dealing with and how they behave. That's when you start marking You need to just that. ignore that and get on with what... Because at the end of the day, we could have this conversation and tomorrow it's the same business going on and nobody's stepping up, nobody's supporting. What's the point? Mm. Uh, well, he's Evidently, on the street, High Street, if that were the case, we'd see a lot more black-run businesses, especially in things like black hair, you know, cos you know cosmetics and black hair products, i.e., you know, the weave and and wigs and um, your hair products like shampoo and gel and you know pomades etc. It, it's represent you know it's, it's Asian run shops and so on. And you hear the odd black person say, no, we should be owning our own things, but then nobody steps up to actually do it. It goes back to what I've said before in past discussion because I mean again like today this is the outrage. Tomorrow is another outrage and like okay so in this situation I've I've stayed away from the punch of jerk rice for me. Yeah. I've tasted it today and I'm like, this is not jerk, you know what I mean? No, and, and so actually tasting it, is probably, taste it, to me, I can still taste can it. And tasting taste it, it is more offensive than actually the act, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. However, it goes back to what you've just said. I yeah, think belly and rice. as people, we need to be spending our energy looking at how we upgrade yeah. ourselves as opposed yeah. to pointing out what the next man can't do because, you know, um, you know, are we, are we saying that Jamie Oliver is racist? Are we, are we saying that he's okay. ignorant? Are Someone says already, yeah, black people complain too much, yeah? It's to take up the reins and say, let, let us do it. Let us link up with some rich black people that's got influences in higher places and let us get our own jerk chicken in the, in the, in the, uh, yeah, in, in te ten dollars. It's hard oh, to do that though, bro. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Instead of black people complaining about air shops, Indian man shade, like air products and stuff, and people cooking our food, do it ourselves, but we don't want it. We don't trust yeah, each other enough. Like, black people need to stop complaining. I'm just complaining that the food just tastes horrible, isn't it? I'm not complaining that a white guy put your rice out there because black people don't do anything for themselves. They all they do is complain. They complain a lot. Black people complain a lot. They complain about or Jamie Oliver putting her jerk rice. Look how long your parents been cooking jerk chicken and stuff like that for. Let's back each other with money and stuff like that. Rich black people should back, back poor black people for their ideas. But we don't do that. But when someone else brings out our ideas, we complain. When the Indian man sells hair products here, yeah, we complain. Instead of opening up our own shops, we complain. Stop that more complaining. Do you know what I mean? So he don't have to pay homage to anybody. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's got a business. He's he capitalised on the business, isn't it? Even though it tastes like poop. What I think that opens up the door to talk about is as black people, do we, are we really supporting, are we taking initiative? Did Jamie Oliver beat us to it? Should we have been, should we be the one that's taking the steps and maybe trying to market our food in a way that's appealing to the, to the mainstream market? Um, one of the things, one of my personal grievances is when I go to Caribbean restaurants, it's just the quality um, of customer service, the presentation of the food, the mentality. Often you feel like you're kind of intruding into someone's business. Um, Jamie Oliver, you ain't saying one. You know, people, you need to stop jumping on our stuff, yeah? And if you do jump on our stuff and make money from us, yeah? Put something back into our community. You can see black children killing black children. You can see that black children ain't really got nothing. They, they, they're schooling, it's, they're low on their schooling, they're low on this, low on that, yeah? They know, you know a lot of black children like to, to play football. They like to do rap music. Yeah? Put something back into our community. Stop taking our stuff, yeah? And not giving us back something, yeah? And black people, yeah, stop moaning. Yeah, and do something about this thing. Stop giving away your stuff. Black people, they will see a white girl twerking. Yeah, and say, ah, oh, she, she can twerk good, innit? it? Or they see a white girl with a big bum and go, ah, oh, look at her bum. You forget about all this, the stuff that we went through. Like when they see Africans dancing on TV. Ah, oh, look at the <laughs> monkeys jumping around. But now they're doing it. And you, 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 you tap them on their back for being, doing such good twerking. Or do, do you see a white girl with a big bum? Back in the day, they say to us, oh, look at your bum, monkey bum. Look at your, uh, the colour skin, look at your big lips. Now you see black white women with big bums, yeah, big lips, injecting their lips, and they're going on the suntan, and you're tapping them around, going, uh huh, look at her, she got a big bum. Oh, look at her lips, she got nice brown skin. It's like saying, ah. Oh. So all along it was just, it was just, it was just jealousy, and you allowed them to get away with it, yeah. So stop allowing people to get away with our stuff, yeah. And if you're gonna allow people to get away with our stuff, yeah, stop moaning about it. 
Yeah. How can you talk about selling a product that's going to be going out to the mainstream when actually on a local level, you're not even honoring the people around you that are going and willing to pay money. And at the same time, when they're paying their money, they're feeling like they're intruding on someone's personal business. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, I think, yeah, one of the things that I would rather talk about, if we're going to talk about food and a cultural appropriation, let's talk about cultural attitudes. Let's talk about um, how we can upgrade the way that we present our own food, not only to our own people, but to the wider audience as well, if we want to make money from it, you know? So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget, sharing is caring. Smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next episode of Barber. Banta.